What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your fourth tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. Now in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called the timeline which is an extremely important part of Premiere Pro. So what the timeline is, is it's pretty much a visual representation of your movie. So yeah, we go ahead, we pop a DVD in and we see how everything looks nice, but someone needs to put that all together. Someone needs to slice up all those clips, put a title exactly where they want it to be and that's what the timeline is so before we even get started we need to import some footage and I'm also going to import a picture so let's go ahead and hit file import and this is how you get footage from your computer to the program so you can either click one file and hit open and it's going to import that one file or if you hold down control you can select multiple files so I'm going to go ahead and import 36 and I don't know 112 just two random ones and hit open and it imports both the files now I want to mention this the very first time you import a file I already edited these in other podcasts so my computer already recognizes them but it may say conforming on the bottom right corner right here and there's gonna be a little progress bar make sure you wait for that progress bar to complete or else you might get some mistakes whenever you try to save your final video so a lot of people have that problem they don't wait for it to conform and I just want to mention please wait for it to conform there now that I'm done with my little spear let's go ahead and import something else so I want to import that main picture that I used as a title so let me see if I can find that in my downloads ah, it's the only thing I downloaded so go ahead and open this and it's gonna import all of this crap into the project panel so now you're saying, all right, Bucky, how do I get this crap from the project panel to my main movie? Well, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select one of these clips, and by holding the icon and dragging it, go ahead and drag it on your timeline. Now, what the timeline is, is it's basically a visual representation of your movie. So you're saying, all right, so right here would be 16 seconds, right here would be 32 seconds, 48, and so on. So right now our entire movie looks like it's about two and a half minutes long, pretty cool. But what we notice is, all right, this movie isn't starting at the very beginning, and it isn't starting, it starts like three seconds in. So what we need to do is click this clip and drag it over so it starts at the very beginning. And now we can see that, all right, we do have some footage popping up. So basically, in order to move these clips around, just go ahead and drag them left and right. Or if you want to drag them on other tracks, which I'll be talking about in a little bit, you can do that by dragging them up and down. But you usually want to make sure that you start at the very beginning. So make sure you bump that all the way to the left. So as soon as the movie starts playing, your video starts playing. If you had it like this, then your movie would play for like 16 seconds and it would just be black and no sound for 16 seconds before any of your clips popped up. So go ahead and bump that all the way to the left and now I'll give you a tour of this timeline. So the very first thing we notice is this thing right here. This is called the time display. This pretty much says, all right, at this point in time, that's where you're working. And if you want to change the point in time, say you wanted to add a title at around 15 seconds, you would go ahead and move this blue thing with a red line coming out of it, kind of reminds me of a Spalian, you know, what did I say, Spalian, alien spaceship with a laser beam shooting down from it. Move it to around 15 seconds, and then I would go and drop a title on track two. So now my video plays for 15 seconds, and then the title appears, and then it plays it again. So basically, I just want to say if you want to go to a different point of time in your video clip, you can move it around with this and this time display just pretty much displays where in your video you're looking at. So another thing I want to mention is that these tracks, video one, two, three, are pretty much like layers. You can only see what's on top. So now, if you can see, at 12 seconds, I'm displaying this clip right here because if you zoom down to my laser, that's the very first thing it hits. But now, when I look at this picture, it zooms down and it hits this picture so that's why since this picture is laying on top of the video that it can't see the video so if we were to play the movie it would show the clip in the video and excuse me it would show the video clip and then the picture would cover it up for about 10 seconds and then it would start playing the clip again and that's why so make sure whenever you're arranging your video clips to keep in mind whatever's on top 
is the thing that's going to be displayed and if anything's underneath it then it's going to be hidden just like transparencies in high school so aside from the time display and the current time indicator I want to talk about this thing this is the viewing area bar and this pretty much is saying alright it's pretty much the zoom so you can zoom in two different ways you can scroll with this viewing area bar which I hate or zoom in and out using this little slider at the bottom there this is the way I always zoom this is the way I recommend doing things so always zoom with this thing now this other bar right here again I already know what I'm guessing you already know what this is the time like 208 means two minutes and eight seconds into your movie I don't really need to go over that but this bar right here you may be a little confused about see this bar that you can kind of move around and has these white little angle brackets next to it this is called the work area bar in 99 percent of the time don't ever touch this because it automatically fits perfectly with your movie but for some reason you want your final movie to be shorter than your actual editing you would move this so it's shorter or longer but i just wanna if you're getting like a movie that's a minute longer than it should be that means you accidentally hit this that's why I wanted to point that out so aside from that what's next these little buttons right here probably the only one you'll ever use is a snap button now what the snap button does is say you wanted to add this title in your movie so what you would do is you wanted to add it right at eight seconds so you would move your current time indicator to eight seconds and check this out whenever you're dragging this if you have that snap button selected it automatically pops to that line just like that however if you don't have it selected check it out it doesn't pop to that line so it may be kind of hard okay so is it right oh nope right there nope not quite okay right there I don't know so that's why I typically like to have snap on because it pops right to your line and it's gonna make editing a whole lot easier so that's what snap does another thing is if you ever want to temporarily hide a track for example you're saying alright I have my title on top of this video right here but I really want to see what's going on in the video right here so I just I don't want to remove it completely permanently but I just want to hide it temporarily what you can do is you can select this track and click this hide eye button and it's called toggle track output and temporarily it hides it so even though the title stare there you can pretty much see through it so when the eye is up there it's normal and when it's hidden then there you go so aside from the high track you can also do that with audio and you're saying alright how can you see and not see audio it pretty much mutes the track or unmutes it so you're saying alright this track is annoying I don't want it I don't want to delete it but you know I don't want to listen to it right now you can go ahead and click that little speaker and it'll mute it whenever you're editing so aside from that you can also collapse and expand the tracks by using this little arrow maybe you have a bunch of video tracks and you know you don't want them big mumbo jumbo like this so you might want to go ahead and collapse everything or you might just want to go ahead and collapse the audio and expand the video maybe you find that easier to work with you know it's really up to you now you're saying alright so I have this video clip right here and I have this title and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this video clip eventually but alright what if I needed like another title what if I needed another track in order to add another track what you would do is you would go ahead and right click here and you would hit add tracks and that's where you can add all your tracks because I don't know typically whenever I'm doing my podcast I have one on my camera one on her camera in the titles and stuff so I typically only work with three but if you're making a real big movie and you want more that's how you do it so now we have about eight seconds in the title pops up and then it goes back to my camera for a little bit and then let me move this so it goes to her camera so there we go that's like our mini movie that we just created so let me go ahead and play this entire thing we can play this in two different ways whenever we want to preview our final movie we can go ahead and hit this play button right here and we can stop it or a nice little shortcut and this is a whole lot easier is you can just hit the space bar so let me go ahead and hit the space bar and we can watch our final movie for like the next 30 seconds I'll narrate too or I'm like saying oh I'm so awesome I'm so awesome hey wanna see a cool title that I popped up 
Oh, there it is. There's my cool title I popped up. And okay, enough of that. Okay, now back to me talking, back to me talking, and what do you got to say about this? And then it pops over to her. Oh, I gotta say, oh, this and that and this and that. So there you go, there's our final movie. <laughs> I actually heard the audio that you guys probably couldn't hear, so it was kind of mumbo-jumbo rambling. But anyways, there you go, there's a quick overview of the timeline. Hopefully you understand what all these widgets and gadgets do now. Again, a couple of these things, like, I don't know, toggle sync lock and toggle track lock, you can understand them later when we talk about locks and um I don't we really don't use it that often so I really don't want to throw everything at you but hopefully you got a better understanding of the timeline now and you can at least make a makeshift movie now so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video